I think I'm getting anxiety at the thought of talking about anxiety, but that's exactly why I need to talk about it. I feel like I have a platform to shift a stigma around it that still exists. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, more than 40 million American adults have an anxiety disorder. That's more than 19% of the U.S. population, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if that number is much higher. For whatever reason, for the past couple of weeks, I've been dealing with crippling anxiety. At times, it feels like a cinder block is on my chest. I'm sure it has a lot to do with what's going on in the world right now. I'm definitely an empath, and I feel genuinely worried about the safety and security of people being impacted by the situation in Ukraine. The ice storm last week brought up some unhealed traumas from a car accident I was in. Luckily, though, this week the weather's been beautiful, and I've gotten outside and gotten to clear my head, and I didn't realize how much I simply needed to take a walk and be in nature. If you deal with anxiety or depression, I highly recommend first and foremost talking with a professional about what you're experiencing to customize a way to manage it. I also suggest Sean Stevenson's book called Sleep Smarter. He's done extensive research on sleep and how it impacts our brain health. He also talks about how exposure to sunlight increases the brain's release of serotonin. It's a hormone associated with boosting your mood and helping you feel relaxed and focused. Let me backtrack here a second. You might be wondering how I even found out I have anxiety. When I was in college, I was diagnosed with a general anxiety disorder after seeing a therapist, but I have memories that go back to grade school that were probably anxiety related. Everyone has flaws and traumas. It's part of being human. And we have to work through the things we don't want to deal with because they won't go away until we do. Only you know what that is. After years of being a restless perfectionist, which I still am at times, I'm working on striving for excellence and doing my best instead. Making inner peace more of a priority than people pleasing. Your power lies in your energy, presence, and intention. So find healthy outlets like listening to music, reading, talking with friends, exercise, yoga, meditation, and deep breathing. Finding and protecting your inner peace is everything. We are all going through different things, so just be kind to everyone.